and another step towards getting the Anglo-French Concorde in the air, as Mr. Wilson arrived to officially open cell four, a test laboratory and super wind tunnel. Costing six and a half million pounds, it's the best of its kind in Western Europe. In it, the Olympus engines, which will power Concorde, can be tested under the same conditions they will meet 13 miles high at 1,500 miles per hour. Mr. Wilson took a closer look at the Olympus engine already installed in the giant test bed. Earlier, the Prime Minister had said that the British aircraft industry had much to gain from our entry into the common market, particularly in spreading research and development costs. This new achievement was an example of what Britain has to contribute to a wider European community. When running at Concorde cruising speeds, the power consumed by the test plant is greater than that of the Queen Elizabeth, and the heat generated is colossal. Dispersing it safely through water-cooled pipes has called for great technical ingenuity. When Concorde gets airborne, she'll be one of the most thoroughly tested planes ever to fly. 